All right, so San Diego State basketball, obviously, they lost on the road. And now San Diego State football, they lost on the road. San Diego State basketball was at BYU. I already gave my thoughts on that the other day. And then San Diego State football, they lose 22-19 to to Colorado State today. On the road, Jalen Maiden, 128 yards. Colorado State, they passed for 244 yards. There's a difference there. Colorado State rushing, 183 yards. San Diego State rushing, 145 yards. San Diego State, 1-5 in conference, 3-7 overall. And they were facing a team that was entering today with a record of 3-6. and six. And they were 1-4 in, in conference overall. So it's not like it was a good Colorado State team. And San Diego State got down big early, and they did nothing in the first half. They were down 15-0. There was a safety, and that was obviously a big reason why they lost when you generate zero offense in the first half i don't care who you're playing you're probably not going to win that game and sure brady hoke can say post game you know i'm reading in the san diego union tribune he can say post game how he was proud of how san Diego state was able to bounce back says wish we would have started faster but the guys played hard we had opportunities to get it down there and kick a field goal again to go to overtime possibly There's a lot of good things we did. Then there's obviously some things in the first half. We'd like to have gotten a few more first downs and really start getting into a rhythm. 15-0, again, was the the halftime lead for Colorado State. We couldn't get it in gear. Then we started getting things going in the second half, and I was real proud of how that offense came back. But, like, that's just not good enough. You know, the offense wasn't good enough. Uh, Lucky Sutton, he did not play in this game. And yes, the O-line was not fully healthy, but Aztecs fans don't want to hear that. You know, what we're going to be looking at is the record three and seven, one and five in conference. Last year was a disappointing season in the first year at Snapdragon Stadium and the second year at Snapdragon Stadium. It's not just a disappointing season. Right now, it's a failure of a season and it's going to be a failure of a season because at the end of the day, they're not going to finish with a winning record. And this is the first time that they will not finish with a at least 500 record since 2009. Who was the head coach then? Brady Hoke. Now, you would say, well, Brady Hoke, he turned it around there in the next year, in 2010, going 9-4 and four after going 4-8 and eight in 2009. But then what happened? Rocky Long ended up taking over, and they didn't have a losing season under him. 8-5, and 9-4, and 8-5, and 7-6. Eleven and three, eleven and three, ten and three, seven and six, ten and three. And yeah, Hoke, great twenty twenty one season. Can't take that away from him. And I think that's why uh, J D Wicker, San Diego State, partly why they will probably end up sticking with Brady Hoke here as the head coach of this program, and also financially, like his buyout is significant. This is not Alabama. I've said this before. His buyout's not like. Alabama, where it's a drop in the bucket. Yeah, okay, see ya. We'll pay you millions of dollars to leave. That's just not how it is here with San Diego State football, especially when they're not getting close to where they probably thought they would get in attendance. Well, when you don't win, fans aren't going to show up on those 7.30 Saturday night kicks or day game kicks at Snapdragon State kickoffs. Like, they're not going to show up. It's not because they don't care. They care, but why spend outrageous ticket prices, in my opinion? Why spend outrageous ticket prices to go sit in the upper deck when you could just watch the game at home and you're not even watching a good product? Like, it's not an entertaining product, I don't think, at least to the non-season ticket holder Aztecs fan. It's just not. You know, and when you're charging, I hate to bring it back to the tickets, like we should keep the focus on on on-field performance, but the tickets are a part of it. The attendance is a part of it because San Diego State gets money from attendance. And I think that they should take a clue, like it's just not attractive right now. The product's not attractive. How can they change that? Well, when? Is Brady Hoke the right guy to get back to winning? And they'll tell you, well, he was 12-2 and in 2021. So, I mean, yeah, we think he's the right guy. And he might. He could bounce back after this year. But what happened last year? 
They went seven and six. That wasn't that impressive to me. It wasn't impressive at all, actually. So, yeah, this year, I'm just not. I'm, obviously, I'm not loving this Aztecs team. No one's loving this Aztecs team. And I don't really know how much focus is on this football program right now. Because of the basketball team, their season starting, it, it just feels like there's not a whole lot of interest in this football program. Like, people are pissed off, but I think people were the most pissed off when they got shut out by Nevada at home, and we all knew what the season was when that happened. And I think we knew what the season was probably before that as well, but we knew what was going to be happening, and I think the interest just really plummeted after that. So do changes need to be made? I think some Aztecs fans would say yes. But I don't think San Diego State's going to make those changes. Now, ticket prices, on the other hand, again, making it more attractive to go to the stadium, the, the, uh, the product needs to be more attractive. You, you can make it more attractive by winning. But in terms of like going to Snapdragon Stadium, getting fans into the stadium, you can't be charging $70 upper deck tickets, $40 upper, tech, upper deck tickets for a, a bad Aztecs team against a bad opponent. like It just can't happen. You cannot expect fans to show up. And I get San Diego State, they don't want to piss off their season ticket holders because the season ticket holders have already paid. They've already committed to a certain price. So if San Diego State uh, decreased prices by a lot, then that obviously would piss off those season ticket holders because they've already paid, right? But, okay. If you're willing to continue to have another bad attendance in this next i think they have one more one more home game i believe okay you can eat it there but next year i think the ticket price has got to go down you got to make it attractive to go to snapdragon you got to make it attractive for fans to want to come watch this aztecs program so things got to turn around on the field and off it in my opinion as well so aztecs fans give your thoughts uh, I think a lot of the attention, as it should be, you know, this San Diego State football program doesn't really deserve to have a ton of attention on it right now. Now, I guess negative attention, but it doesn't deserve to be have have more attention, more spotlight on it than San Diego State basketball. Basketball, they're doing things right. Like they have that. I'm not, I don't want to say San Diego State football doesn't have great culture because I'm not in there, but it sure seems like basketball. It has it. It has it going on. Whatever's going on, it's right. Guys buying in and wanting to win for the team. Fans are packing Vias Arena. Why? It's an entertaining product. Because there's winning. That's just not what we're seeing from San Diego State football's program right now. So, I mean, just this offense needs to get better. It, it, it has been bad this season. They need to get a quarterback. Don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to act like I'm super into the recruiting and what's happening there. But that needs to turn around. So, I'm not going to sit here and say I was surprised by what happened tonight. San Diego State, with another loss, this time on the road, shut out in the first half, and they've been shut out uh, more than once in the first half this season. 